Hey, welcome to Nocturnal Fermentation. My name is Paul. I'm uh, in a spooky haunted house right now in honor of Halloween to taste my Halloween wine that I've been very excited about. It's my bloody beetroot. My bloody beetroot wine. So I'm going to taste it right now. Um, I'm really hoping to get out of here uh, uh, right after I taste this. So. Okay, so I'm gonna make this real quick. So I got my beetroot wine here. 12% alcohol. Nice blood red color. Exactly what I wanted. Good enough for any of the ghouls and goblins that might be in this. In a spooky old house, so okay. Let me, let me just take a sip real quick. It's dry at the finish, it's got a hint of sweetness at the tip of the tongue. Okay, viscosity. I had hoped that it would have a little bit more. I think next time I might maybe do something a little bit more of a tan and maybe do a little bit more grape in there. But the flavor of the beet comes through. It's not uh, um, I was worried that it would have a, a real vegetable-like taste, like a V8 punch or something. But but no, it's a hint of the beets. It's mildly sweet with that dry finish. I would definitely make this again, and I think I would probably follow the same recipe, but again, maybe add a little bit more tan into it for body, maybe even add a banana to it to add that body, maybe just a little bit of extra sweetness, but this came in at 12% ABV, uh, finished dry with a mild sweetness, and I'm really enjoying this, but I think I'm going to get out of the spooky haunted house and uh, enjoy it someplace less spooky. Happy Halloween. Cheers. Okay. Enjoy it chilled.